Hey everybody, were you waiting for me? So glad to be here. I want to talk to you tonight about getting started in keto, counting down to keto, and dealing with people who aren't keto. Yeah, it happens to everybody. I've been in so many different situations. From my son, who is an absolute pizza expert and makes fun of keto, goes out of his way to put things on ribs or whatever that um, will make sure that it's not keto. But then there are those times that, that he does. <laughs> the bottom line is you have to think what your priorities are. So my son wants to tease me about keto. Okay, I'll survive. I'll have something else. And then there are the times that um, I'm with someone and their children taste the fathead pizza. And they go, whoa, this is the best pizza I've ever tasted. And from that point on, all they want is fathead pizza. And they swear it tastes better than the original. Folks, you're going to meet all kinds of people on this journey. You're going to meet people who are absolutely supportive of your journey. And you're going to meet people who try to shove you off your journey. People have the expression of uh, fall off the wagon. These are people who are trying to push you off the wagon. They have different reasons for pushing you off the, the wagon for whatever reason. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you to lose the weight. There could be a million reasons associated with this. They're afraid that if their partner becomes more attractive, they will become more attractive to the opposite sex and they don't want to deal with it. It could be that um, they see that you're succeeding and they feel guilty that they too are overweight and don't want to be forced into doing something that they don't want to do. So therefore, they put down your journey. It could be because they are under the impression that what you're doing is dangerous. We've seen that even doctors don't understand what keto is all about. This week I'm coming back to a doctor who's been working with me on metabolic syndrome. And it was just over a year ago that I went to him and said, hey, I'm starting keto. And he said, oh, that keto is very dangerous. you got to be careful of ketoacidosis. And then I told him, that doesn't have anything to do with the keto diet. That's something that affects type 1 diabetics. And I'm not diabetic. Now, he takes credit for my keto. Bottom line, along this journey, there are going to be people who support you, become your cheering sections, and there are going to be people who become your critic section. That's not why you do this. You do this for you. You don't do this for the applause. You do this because you want to feel better. You want to look better. You want to stick around for your children and your grandchildren. You want to move with more flexibility, less pain. You want to fit into the clothes that you have in the closet. You're tired of looking in the mirror and feeling sad about yourself. These are just the start of why people do this. So if someone else comes along, they are not your reason why. They are not the reason that you are doing keto. You are the reason that you are doing keto. And so unfortunately, you have to be prepared for things that the people who aren't going to support you can who will say. You're out at a restaurant and they may look all irritated and they're not really irritated with you. They're irritated with them. And they may say something like, for crying out loud, can't you go off that stupid diet for just one night? I mean, here we go to this really fancy restaurant and you have to be on this stupid diet. Why? Because you choose not to eat the rolls on the table and you're planning on having a most expensive steak on the menu, you know. Going to a steak restaurant, the difference between someone being on keto and not keto,
probably ends up at around the rolls, you know, okay? So the, the bottom line is, it's not about you. They're just using your doing keto as an excuse for something that they feel about themselves. Because you know and I know that you can go into virtually any restaurant in the world, and if you stick to eggs, you stick to steak, you stick to a, a piece of fish, and you tell them no sauces, no... Um, um, nothing on top, you can do this. You could definitely do keto. But you need to hear people saying things to you, and you need to be able to just go on your own way with your own internal drive and your own internal motivation. Because that's what success is all about. The day that you want this enough so that nothing is going to get in your way, you're going to get there. And that means that if there's a little bit of static chirping on the line, you just ignore it. Because they're not living your life. And therefore, they don't deserve your results. You know, we make a really big thing when people come into the group and post their success stories. But the truth of the matter is that anyone who tries, anyone who resists temptation, anyone who resists pressure, already is a success story. Because I'm not in their shoes. I don't know what they go through at home. I don't know what it's like at the holiday dinner and someone decides to say, and Mavis can't enjoy Gladys's holiday cake this year because she is being mean by being on this keto diet. Yes, there are families that will do something like that. You don't have to play along. Just because someone invites you to the game doesn't mean that you have to play. Just smile and say, you know, I'm really enjoying um, keeping keto. That's all. Generally, if you don't get involved in their conversation, you're going to do just fine. So once again, come back to what you ultimately want. And if what you ultimately want is success in keto, you'll track your macros on a daily basis and watch everything that goes into your mouth. You'll learn to make sure to have foods plain and make sure that there aren't sauces coming that you had no idea were there. You'll learn to stand up for yourself in a restaurant and insist on getting a meal that you want because you're paying for it and you're entitled to it. You can do this. Keto on, folks.